I'm learning to fly But I ain't got a way I'm coming down Is the hardest thing Hey everybody, what's going on here? This is David Potts with Song Notes, and today's lesson will be for Learning to Fly by Tom Petty. This is a fantastic song, as you know, uh, and the great thing about it on guitar is you only need four chords that repeat in the same order for the entire song. Both the verses and the choruses use this progression, which is really great. It's not a lot to remember, which is nice when you're playing guitar. Now, what I'm going to do is teach you how to play these chords, and I'm going to show you some of the nuance and like little things you can do um, that can be helpful shortcuts or little cool flourish notes you can add to make the song sound, you know, a bit like what you hear on Tom Petty's album version. And I'm talking about some of these little uh, melodic flourishes. <laughs> So with what I was playing there, all I'm doing is pulling a finger off and on that's already in the, you know, typical chord positions. And these really make it approachable to learn because you're not doing anything super fancy, but it sounds really cool. So it really pays off. But uh, let's dive on in. First, I'll show you the chords, then I'll show you the strumming, then I'll show you some of those tricks, okay? Okay, so how to play these chords. Um, there's a few different ways to teach all the, all the chords that are used here, right? Even though it's only four chords. What I'm going to do is show you this cool way. This is what Tom Petty uses when he plays it, but this is also an approach you can use when you're playing other songs that use these chords. And what I mean by this is for all four of these chords, you're going to have your pinky on the thinnest string, the high E string, on the third fret, okay? So that's going to be a constant in all these chords. Um, now, as I'll explain later, it's not required to do this, but it's a nice thing to learn, especially if you haven't done this before. So for the F, what we're gonna do, we're not gonna play the full F. The full six string F, don't worry about that. We're just gonna do the thinnest four strings. So third, second, first, third, okay? Third, second, first, third. This is technically called an F add nine. Um, and for the entire song, we can use this if we want. The second chord, though, is the C. Now, instead of doing a regular C, what we're going to do is keep our pinky down on that third fret of the high E string. So, third, second, open, first, third. Okay, so those first two chords, again, are the F add 9. We'll just call that an F, okay? An F. And then a C. Okay? Then we have an A minor. And all we're going to do to switch from the C to the A minor is move our ring finger up and up off the third fret of the fifth string and down onto the second fret of the third string. So open second, second, first, third. Okay? So the three chords F add nine, C, A minor. Okay? And then a G. Third, second, open, 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 third. And once more, to drive it home, your pinky is in the same position for each of these four chords. Now strumming, um, Tom Petty does, and what I'm going to teach is doing all down strums. But you're going to want to accent the first strum of each chord, right? So... Okay, so that's what all down strum sounds like. And notice how long I'm going to be on each chord here. They're not evenly distributed. The F, you're only going to be on for three strums, then the C for five strums, okay? Then the A minor for three strums, and then the G for five. So it's, um, instead of four strums for each chord, it's three and five, three and five, right? So... Yeah, right? If you wanted to count this, it would sound like this. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four and... All right? And um, that's what you use for the whole song. You can start singing along right there if you want to. I'm learning to fly But I ain't got way All right, but let's get to that fun part of adding these flourish notes. So for the F, what we want to do is 
What I like to do is just lift up my middle finger and put it back down. Okay? And then the C, you do nothing on the C. And then A minor, you're gonna lift up your index finger on the second string. And then the G, you're gonna put your index finger down on that same note you just lifted up on the A minor, right? First fret of the B string, second string. So in full, Okay, so you can just use that same um, strumming I showed you, all down strums, accent the first strum of each chord if you can, and then just add those notes and it's good stuff, right? Um, you'll really notice for this F, what I like to do to sort of change up the sound is really only play those those three strings. And if you could do that for um, a lot of the chords, if you play just the, 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 these three strings, okay? Or maybe the middle four strings, but... Notice how for everything I just played there, I'm not really playing the high E string ever, and I'm only playing the low E string on the G to get that bass note in there, but otherwise... But otherwise, it's a nice way to have a nice, you know, stripped down version of this so that you can return to the fuller You know, if you want to do some full strumming and you want to add that thin, thinnest string in there for the more, you know, the, the fuller chords, you can do that too. And you also could do just straight up chord strumming. I'm learning to fly, but I ain't got a wing. Coming down. The last thing I'll teach you here is sometimes he stays on G. I'm learning to fly. So what I was doing there was I was on G and staying on it. And using my index finger on that second fret of the B string. Or the first fret of the B string, okay? On and off. So, you know, otherwise that's all you need to play this song. You use those four chords, you play them in that order, use any of the strumming I just showed you, um, use any of the chord voicings I just showed you, and just, you know, mind your rhythm, uh, stay on the chords for the proper amount of time, and you can do the whole song, and you can actually take things in a different direction if you want to change up the rhythm or the strumming or whatever, okay? Music is uh, ripe for a remix, which is nice. So um, I really hope this helped you. Please let me know in the comments what questions you have, what I didn't cover, and that helps me improve for next time. And also, let me know uh, what other Tom Petty songs you want to hear lessons for that I don't have lessons for yet, because I'm going to be doing more, and I really want to just make sure I'm uh, taking the good ones uh, off the list first. So thank you very much for watching. Check out the website, playsongnotes.com. You can find printouts for this lesson. And... Um, Tons of other lessons there as well. There's a tip jar as well if you really want to contribute and support this project of mine. Um, tips are accepted and very, very uh, much appreciated. So otherwise, I'll leave you. Have a great night. And remember, above all else, pick up that guitar and play. Bye-bye. <laughs>